parang lalabas yung ano mo yung puso mo sa visa interview kasi dito naka, nakasalalay kung makakapunta ka bang uh, Netherlands or sa other European countries once we come oh kalma lang dapat <laughs> wala na kaming masabi yeah. to be sure para approve ka agad una lang sabihin Hello friends! Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Margie Francisco from General Santa City, Philippines. And this is my friend. What's your name? Cynthia. <laughs> uh, both of us are au pairs here in the Netherlands. And for today's vlog, we are going to share something that is all about visa interview in going to Netherlands. Netherlands. Since we are au pairs, so I guess this is just for au pairs. This vlog is for au pairs who will have their interview with the embassy. Netherlands embassy. Embassy in Netherlands? Yeah. Now, we are going to share with you, friends, what are the questions that the embassy asks to me and to Cynthia. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Kung nakatulong tong vlog na to sa inyo, Please leave a comment down below. Follow Cynthia in her Instagram account. That's Cynthia. I will write it here. Oh. Cynthia. Oh. And I also have an Instagram account and you can also follow me. Let's be connected. Let's be friends. So these are the questions that the embassy, the the Netherlands embassy from Philippines ask to me. You Cynthia, mo pa? Not medyo, anymore? Medyo. medyo. Okay. Before namin to babasahin, uh, before kayo pupuntang embassy, dapat nakapag-research na kayo about sa kung ano ang au pair, nakapag-practice uh, na kayo. Of course, dapat alam nyo na yung uh, basic informations about your host family, about your host kids, about your agency, about yourself, kasi madali na lang siya sagutin kapag ready kayo. And film yourself, record yourself, try to ask yourself of those questions and na alam mo na tanong nila sa inyo. So, malaking tulong yun siya sa inyo. Practice okay? Lang. Practice. Kung may kakilala kayong au pair na, magtanong kayo sa kanila kung ano yung mga experiences din nila, kung ano yung naranasan nila, mga, mga questions din, ganun. The first is na naaalala pa namin Kung may naalala ka pa, pwede mo nang nagdag. Okay. Okay, the first one here is, how did you know the au pair program or the exchange culture, cultural exchange program? Paano mo ba na laman? Sino ba nagsabi sa'yo? Ganon. Sa akin, sinabi ko lang na, ano ba sinabi ko? Oh, yung totoo, na friend ko, au pair din siya before. And so, siya yung nag, ano sa akin na, um, mag-join ka ng, ng, ng au pair na to sa happy au pair. So, sa'yo, Sin, how did you know yeah, I said that I saw it on Facebook. Yeah, nasa Facebook kasi. Famous kasi yeah. yung agency namin, yung Happy Au Pair. Lagi din nagpo-post yung owner ng agency, kaya madaming gustong sumali. Short and brief and concise. Oh, yun hala. Wag, wag, wag nyong, wag nyong wag na kakalimutan. Wag nyong pahabain na. Kung ano yung tanong, yun na lang. Para wala nang, ano, wala nang further questions or ano ba. Basta ganun. Next, do you know someone from the Netherlands? Au pair friends or relatives? Well, this is really uh, a tough question kasi of course, kung wala ka namang kakalala, pwede mo sabihin na wala. Pero kasi may nangyari, may nalaman ako na ganun na sinabi niya na may, may ano siya, may kakilala siya or may relative or may somehow uh, family member niya nandun sa, ano, sa Europe isa din siya sa mga parang isa sa mga reasons na hindi ma-approve yung visa mo pag ganun. Pero kasi, honest is the best policy. Parang ba yun? Sin? Hindi, pero kahit may kakilala ka, sabihin mo talaga wala. Wala kang kakilala para uh, safe, to para, be safe lang. End of story. End of question. Of, oh, ganun wala lang. nang further questions. Kasi kung sabihin mong meron pa, tanoyin ka niya, anong ginagawa niya doon? Mm -hmm. Anong pangalan niya? Sa Tapos iisipin, o, oh, iisipin nila na pag hindi mo nagustuhan yung family mo, yung program, mm -hmm. pwede ka lang lumipat dun sa kakilala mo na, na, na yun, di ba? So, so ang dami, ang dami ng ano. Not to say anything. Something. Just say no. No. Okay? 
Third, kindly share about the processes that you went through to be an au pair. Did you pay something? So, is you share mo kung paano ka nag-process ng mga documents mo, ng mga ka- kakailanganin para makapunta dito sa Netherlands or sa other na European countries. Sabihin mo lang, everything went well. Kung may binayaran ka ba, no talaga ha. Dapat wala kang binayaran kasi ang magkikater ng expenses mo, yung host family mo. And tutulungan ka ng agency, hindi financially ha. Pero tutulungan ka ng agency sa mga papers mo, kaya nga may, may agency tayo. Pero may mga alam ako na agencies na they, they require the au pairs to pay something. Pero to be, <laughs> to be, ano tawag doon? To be sure, para approve ka agad, huwag mo nalang sabihin. The honesty is the best policy. Okay, next. What's your profession? Oh, di ba tong tanong na to, personal. Alam mo naman ko ano profession mo. And for example, sa sabi, I was a teacher and Cynthia is a supervisor. She was a supervisor. Pag sinabi mo yon sa kanila kung why why uh, why did you decide to to be an au pair and yes, in ganun. my case, tinanong pa ako kung bakit. Mm, bakit ka mag au pair? Personal na siya, Mag-o-pair madali na siya. Lang. Mm-hmm. Sagutin, sagutan. Bahala na yung mga Filipino. Sagutan. sagutan. Yung mga Filipino teachers dyan, bahala na kayo. <laughs> okay, next. This is the last one na naalala ko. After your one-year contract in Netherlands, are you planning to be an au pair in other countries? Itatanong nila kung magpo-proceed ka pa ba as an au pair. Honestly speaking, we are planning to proceed pa to continue our, our journey pa as an au pair. Pero I have heard from one of my friends na sinabi if there's an opportunity, why not? Ganon. And, na-delay siya. Nag, yeah. Naghintay pa siya ng almost two months ata para ma-approve na naman yung visa niya because of that answer. So, to be safe, sabihin mo na lang, you will go back to the Philippines or kung saan ka man and you will continue your profession to be safe. Walang, safe. Yeah, yes, safe, safe answer lang tayo. Go back to the Philippines and continue your profession. And, uh, ano pa yung mga questions na naalala mo, Sin? About your host family. Who introduced you to your host family? Oh, yeah, ganun. Tinanong oh, din pala yun. My agency. Your agency introduced you yeah. to your host family. O minsan, tatanungin din nila anong mga trabaho ng, ng host parents mo. Dapat alam mo yun. How many kids? Oo, oh, oh, ano what yung... What are the age? Mm-mm, the ages of your host kids. Alam mo na ba yung mga responsibilities mo as an au pair? Mm-hmm. O, oh, ganun. Di ba, light household chores lang tayo and more on, ang focus talaga ng operating is the kids. So, dapat mag-research kayo noon and if you have time, I have other au pair videos sa YouTube channel ko. You can watch those videos and if you have more questions about the visa interview, ito, ito yung parang parang lalabas yung ano mo yung puso mo sa visa interview kasi dito nakas- nakasalalay kung makakapunta ka bang uh, Netherlands or sa other European countries pero just pray di ba say just pray bawal cellphone doon just become oh kalma lang dapat and dapat may presence of mind um, pero may mga wag kayong mag-alala ha may maiba naman na au pairs na wala masyadong tanong sa kanila mm mm-hmm. Depende yun siguro sa mood ng mga representative the owners somehow. Mga tauhan nila. Kung may kasabay ka. Oo, ganun. Magtanong-tanong kayo sa mga au pairs na kakilala ninyo. Baka magka-problem kayo sa embassy kasi yung may ano na, may kakilala kami na parang pumunta siya dun. Na, parang two weeks ago Dapat lang siya. Dapat kasi mauna process ang host family. Mm-mm, dapat Dito. oo. Mauna ang uh, mag-process ang host At family sa Netherlands. At before visa interview. Be safe sa mga sagot. And your outfit. Oh yeah, that's also important. Huwag kang mag to the embassy. Oo, dapat yung ano din, yung presentable tayo. Dapat presentable mm. ka. Yung katulad ni kay Cynthia, nag-skirt siya. Hmm? <laughs> Parang office. Na. Parang office attire. Na insert mo picture. <laughs> We can put our pictures here nang pumunta kaming embassy here niyan yung ano namin naranasan namin and after ilang ano ba bago na kuha sin 10 10 days mm-hmm. oh tapos Including ano naman including weekends oh, oh tapos ano naman eh mag pagkatapos ng interview mo malalaman mo kung approve ka o hindi di ba sin mm, kasi, kasi may bibigay sila Hindi ka pa ba biometrics? Biometrics ka na, approve na yan. Approve na yan. Oh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. God bless sa mga 
gustong mag oper jan sa mga nagpaprocess na ng mga documents God bless just stay safe kasi before kayo pupuntang Netherlands mag corona test pa kayo so stay negative sa COVID test be positive sa life Ay, thank you for watching this is Margie and this is Cynthia and thank you Babush! Sana all.